he's one of the hottest players on the Jazz team right now, Shauna, and you had a chance to ask him some pretty personal questions. So we wanted to know, did he play ball today? <laughs> like, please don't pass. I might <laughs> drop it. Kyle Korver, really, he's making a, he's getting a lot of attention on and off the court. I sat down to, with him today to talk to him a little bit about what keeps him grounded despite all the fame. And he says for him, the key is his religion. Okay, so be honest. What were your perceptions of Utah You know, before you came here? When you were told you were going to be traded to this yeah. team, what were your concerns? You know, I, I think, you know, finding things to do, finding people to hang out with. I mean, I mean, just, just the concerns of any, that anyone has moving into a new city. I mean, meeting people is really hard. You know, I mean, people that you like and you feel like like you for the right reasons. Is it hard to meet people being a jazz player? You want to meet people that, that you want to hang out with too, not just like, you know, they want to hang out with you or they, you know, so they want to come, they want tickets to a game or something. But people who you like, I really like that person. I want to I want to call them when I have a free night and hang out. How have you met people so far? Uh, well, I found a church out here. Uh, it's called K2 The Church. I met, I met some people there, and, um, you know, I mean, it's been very brief. It's, it's, I mean, you don't have a lot of free time during the season. Is religion pretty important to you? It is. It's something uh, that I was brought up in. It's something that's become more important to me as I've gotten older. And, um, you know, something, I mean, it's my number one thing in my life, so. It sounds like giving back is kind of a big part of your family and your yeah. legacy. Servanthood is, 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 is at the core of, of Christianity. Um, just from a young age, that's just kind of, you know, what I came to um, kind of see as being a Christian. You know, it's like not, that's not all of it, but that's, that's a big part of it. And, uh, you know, my, my family has a saying, um, Christianity should be caught and not taught. It's not just about telling people what to do, but you have to be able to show it. Sounds like your family and you are very close. We're very close. I got three younger brothers. I mean, we, we can we can play basketball. We can work out. We can we can we can talk about things now. You know, um, so it's pretty cool. Just you know, as uh, as, as your brothers, brothers get older, they, you know, they, they become your best friends, really. You know, and, uh, and no sisters, right? It's just all boys, all basketball. Yeah, we. Uh, it's kind of funny. We we're all our initials are all K E K. It's the whole Clover side of the family. All my cousins and stuff too. And um, each each one of the boys is Kyle, Clayton, Caleb, Kirk. If we would have been a girl, we'd have been named Kelly. So when we got the dog, we named the dog Kelly, my mom. What did she do right to, to raise a, a guy like you? My parents, they were very good about uh, giving direction, but never telling me what to do. Never like, you know, you got to go outside and shoot bats. So we're going to take you to this camp, or we're going to, we're, we're, you're going to church tonight. You know, it was never like that. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, you know, um, they kind of, they, I guess they, they kind of gave me direction, but they never forced anything down my throat. What do you think about um, this kind of sex symbol? I don't know what you're talking about. Thing you're getting. I don't know what People you're say about. <laughs> that you are an Ashton Kutcher lookalike. There's a lot of ladies in our newsroom who have lots of interesting questions uh, for you. Uncomfortable is a good word, especially, you know, on camera. I, mean, I want to be known as a basketball player. You know, I want to be known as a player. Someone who plays hard and who plays well. And um, that's what I want. To, when people talk about me, I want them to talk about that, you know. Inquiring minds want to know, are you single? Do you have a girlfriend? I am single. Favorite music? I like Linkin Park. I like Pearl Jam. I like Fuel. I like Incubus. I like David Gray. I mean, it depends on the mood. You know, I, I don't like to listen to music that's going to pump me up when I'm not going to a game because I feel like, you know, I only have so much energy in a day and I don't want to waste it in my car. Are you still um, living in a hotel? I'm out of the hotel. I moved out the other day. Did you find a place? No. Oh, well, where are you living? Uh, some friends of mine, their parents have a condo that's not being used. So okay. I was laying in the hotel. <laughs> On like Monday night, I was like, you know, I think I have to move out of here tomorrow. We heard that peanut, you loved peanut butter and jelly. I do. And Luke's, Luke's your jelly. biggest fan, so he wanted to make, we made you a sandwich. Oh, it's good because I'm hungry. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it, man. Give me five, man. Yeah. Right on. There's a little squish that have been in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Luke's my four-year-old, by yeah. the way, my little field producer. And a jazz fan. With me. And a jazz fan. A junior jazz player and a big Kyle Korver fan now. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I bet Luke's. A, uh, bet Kyle now has Luke as a fan for that peanut butter jelly sandwich you gave With him, homemade so. grape jelly, <laughs> yep. you might add. Yeah, okay. it was a fun interview. He's a great guy. All right, uh, something happening to